We're now ready to install the X rails and mount the carriage on them. So we need to have our base assembly, the carriage, and two of the steel linear rails. We want to push the linear rails through the right hand X support until they're about halfway along the base. We then can slide the carriage onto them. Like that. And we can then push the rails the rest of the way. At the other end, we want the rails to be flush with the surface of the support block. I'll get a close-up shot of that just now. So I want the rails flush with this left-hand side of the support block. We can now clamp the rails in place using the grub screws located on each support block. For that we need to use the 2mm Allen key and we just tighten them like so. It's very important not to over tighten because you could strip the threads in the plastic support blocks and I suggest just tightening them with the short end of the Allen key not with the long lever end because that will apply too much force. So just tighten all four grub screws. There we go. And check the travel of the slide. Seems to move very smoothly. Next we take the X belt, that's the longer of the two belts, and we pass it around first of all the motor pulley. Zoom in. With the teeth of the belt facing you pass it around the back side of the motor pulley pull it through then pass it around the front of the motor pulley and pull it back With the other end of the belt Again, with the teeth facing you, we pass it around the rear of the idler pulley and then back around the front. So the X belt now forms a continuous loop around the motor around the idler pulley and back to the carriage. Take the left hand loop off the belt and place it over the anchor post. I'm going to turn the whole thing over so you can see underneath. That's the left anchor post and want to place the belt loop over that. Like so. We then want to place the right hand loop of the X belt over the anchor post that's on the adjustable tensioner plate. So pause here for a moment just to check that you have the X belt on both of the anchor posts and it's passing around the motor and idler pulley as expected.
In order to tension the X belt, the tensioner plate needs to be pushed to the left. That in turn pulls on the anchor post, making the belt go tight. So if you press on the tensioner plate with your finger and then use the number one posi drive screwdriver to tighten both of the anchor screws, that belt tightens up nicely. Check the travel again and we're now ready to move on to the Y axis.